Commission new government guidelines released as RTE and its presenters apologize for social distancing breaches. There are less than two weeks to go before the level five restrictions are due to expire, but the chief medical has said the message of working from home is not getting through. Chambers Ireland has urged employers to play their part in reducing the spread of the virus. Our message to businesses across the country is that we need to, as far as possible, assist employees that can work from home to work from home. It's really critical that we get the OR number down as low as we can so that we can reopen in early December and stay open. Concerns have also been raised by started to let their guard down. It comes as images have emerged of an impromptu farewell for an RTE employee on her last day, which began with the public health guidelines being followed. But a number of those present, including some news and current affairs presenters, posed for photographs with their colleague, as did members of senior management, where social distancing was not fully observed. In a statement, RTE said they were brief social contacts, while well-intentioned, were unnecessarily risky and should not have happened. It added that RTE and those involved regret this occurred and apologised. While I was disappointed, and it was a, a very serious lapse of judgment, it also served as a wake-up call uh, that we cannot be complacent and we can't let our guard down. I was actually speechless when I saw the photographs. It's quite remarkable. Uh, people standing with their arms around each other. While people are still being advised to work from home, workplaces are expected to get busier in the weeks ahead as restrictions are eased. In preparation, the government has published a revised version of its work safely protocol first published in May with updated guidance for businesses and workers covering such areas as the management and control of outbreaks, the wearing of face coverings, ventilation, face coverings, ventilation and symptoms of the virus. Brigal O'Brien, RTE News at Government Buildings. Now, as you saw in Fergal's report, I am unfortunately one of the people who failed to properly observe social distancing here in RTE last week. It was an error of judgment which I deeply regret, for which I take full responsibility, and for which I unreservedly apologise to you, our audience. None of us can afford to let down our guard, even for a moment, and I am very, very sorry that I failed to do the right thing on this occasion. Now, this evening, the Department of Health has confirmed that eight more people have died with COVID-19 and 330 new cases have been reported. Around each other. 
While people are still being advised to work from home, workplaces are expected to get busier in the weeks ahead as restrictions are eased. In preparation, the government has published a revised version of its work safety protocol first published in May with updated guidance for businesses and workers covering such areas as the management and control of outbreaks, isolation and symptoms of the virus. Brigal O'Brien, RTE News at Government Buildings. So hands up, as you've seen, I too was photographed at the farewell for Phil, and I'd like to take this opportunity to apologise for my lack of judgement, particularly to RTE colleagues who've worked so hard to keep campus COVID-free over the past eight months. I've let you all down, and I'm sorry. To Northern Ireland next, where hairdressers and cafes reopened today for a week. The temporary news at 5.30 this evening, disappointing and not helpful. The Taoiseach gives Virgin Media News his reaction to the images of RTE broadcasters at a going away do, 